Let's follow the path of Dusty's Trail, oh Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling through the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's Trail. Soon they send back a veal to your wagon and we move on, yeah? Uh, always it is worse when you have nothing said. I go see what I can find for you. Quiet, Kronk! Quiet! Try to be quiet! Let's not stop here. I got a weird feeling about this place. You get a weird feeling about a lot of places. Yeah, but this time my weird feeling's weirder than my usual weird. Believe me, I have discovered that experience is more reliable than feeling. Now, you can trust me. This is a safe place to camp. I got tomatoes and potatoes in it. Huh. Are you coming over? Did you ever see a bag of beans going the other direction? A bag of beans going? You know, I always thought I understood men, but you shake my confidence. Just get the vegetables ready, okay? No. This one. Too many apples. There ain't nothing more ornery than a pony with the bloat. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, Andy, help! Terrible, big, out of a tree, mouth, teeth! <laughs> <laughs> and, and tomatoes and potatoes and... <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Simmer down now. Let's try to make some sense. You're hysterical, Dusty. Now, now, take a deep breath and pronounce each word slowly. You ready? <sighs> right, begin. Tree. What about a tree? Thing. Thing in a tree. What kind of thing? Hairy. All right, you saw a hairy thing in a tree. What was it doing there? 
Harry, Harry arms and Harry feet and Harry toes and Harry cheeks and look like a big Maddie wig and don't let it get me. Yeah. Wait a minute. All right, little pal. Nothing's going to get you. Dusty, the thing you described couldn't possibly be here. It couldn't? No, the only creature answering to that description is the giant African bush gorilla, and there aren't any on this continent. Well, why don't you tell that the gorilla to swipe my tomatoes? Now, wait a minute. There is no doubt that you saw something. But if Andy, with all his book learning, says it ain't a gorilla, that is one thing we can be sure that it ain't, huh? I didn't see a big old hairy gorilla? Absolutely not. <laughs> sure am glad I didn't see that big old hairy gorilla before. Why? Because I just didn't see him swiping those apples right now. <laughs> The apples are gone. I wonder who could have taken them. Well, one thing for sure, we know it wasn't a big hairy gorilla. Right, Andy? Right. Well, if you didn't just get up and walk away, I mean, what in tarnation are we up against here? You hear that? Indian war drums. Those are not Indian war drums. How can you be sure of that? Because I speak drum language. And if those were Indian war drums, the message that they just sent out would be, uh... My uncle's elbow is in the house of a squirrel. Maybe the drummer's a rotten speller. The one thing I know for sure, that sound is not Indian war drums. And no Indian made that footprint. What do you make of that, Andy? It's remarkable. It's the track of a simian primate in the great ape classification. Oh, thank goodness. For a minute, I thought you were going to say gorilla. That's what he just said. I don't understand it. But I can't deny it appears to be the track of a gorilla. Deny it. Deny it. I don't know what it is. But until it can be identified, we must assume it's dangerous. Yeah, very. And Harry. <laughs> that thumping noise has stopped. Walter, are you sure? My dear, if I can hear interest accumulating in a vault in Boston, I can certainly hear when a noise has stopped. Listen. Yes. I distinctly hear nothing. <laughs> there it isn't again. <laughs> Carter, what, what shall we do? I feel like running. Brookhaven's never run. Not when they can hide. Oh, I don't know how you can be so calm, Lulu. I got a real case of the jitters. Well, when a gal earns her living doing the cooch dance at the cowboy picnic, she learns not to scare so easy. Relax. Try. But I can't help worrying. Well, everybody gets that spooky feeling once in a while. Just keep telling yourself that you're not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> Dusty. No! Andy. We got company. Oh, should I make some coffee and biscuits? It's not that kind of company. It's that kind of company. What do you think it is, Mr. Callahan? I don't know. All right, come on out, whoever you are, and come out slow. Klaus von Schmidt, at your service. So I have been tracking him since he geflickened her, uh, okay. since his escape. And then I see your campfire and decide I must present myself before it is too late. Yeah? yeah. What do you mean, too late? <laughs> My gorilla is a ferocious and wild, a wild, dangerous animal. If he hurt any of you, I, I should be most sorry. I knew it was a gorilla. I could smell bananas on his breath. <laughs> Why don't you tell us everything you can about your gorilla? That way we stand a better chance of protecting ourselves and helping you capture him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that mark good. Uh, uh, I, I agree with you, sir. First of all, I tell you his nomen, uh, his name. 
Kronk. Gesundheit. Has he escaped before? Oh, yeah, yeah. In London and in Vienna. Oh, many times. And always he does the same thing. What do you mean? First, he finds food. Then, uh, he beats his chest to establish his territory. And then? And then what? And then he steals a woman. Oh, well, at least our ladies are all safe. You have lost them. Now Gronk has her, and he will kill anyone who tries to take her back. Ach, du lieber, das ist mein Gestiefenpunkt. Das abische Haus gegangen mit der kleinen Mädel. What did you say? Well, I'm sorry when I, when I am excited. I forget to speak my good English. Now, look, let's not lose our heads. Betsy is in trouble and she's depending upon us. Yeah, let's run after that gorilla and take Betsy away from him and give him a knuckle sandwich right in the fangs. <laughs> nine, nine. I have seen Gronk tear a tree trunk in half with his bare hands. Maybe we better wait until he's tired of her. The first thing we got to do is figure out where he's taking her. Well, if he behaves like other great apes, he's probably heading for a cave. Yeah, that is exactly right. Well, we better give up then. There's so many caves around in the mountains look like Swiss cheese. Look, we'll make search parties. You go with Klaus, Andy will go with me. We'll leave Mr. Brookhaven here to look after the ladies. Come on, Andy. Stand watch here. Yeah. What if I go find Mr. Callahan, give him an important message while you stand watch here? It's just what I have said. I know, but it sounded so good I wanted to hear it again. <laughs> so now you must take my message and do not miss ein word. The exactness of the message may save the girl's life. Yeah, good? Yeah, good. 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 <laughs> Das abische Wurst ist gefüllte der schöne Schulische mit der Gran Gewahn oder alles in Ordnung. Abfüllen alles in Ordnung oder machen sie kaputt. Tot. Ja, gut? Ja, gut. gut. Ein Moment, bitte. Young man, the message in English is that... Ach, he is gone. Dummkopf. Betsy, Betsy. Betsy, where are you? Betsy. Betsy. Mr. Callahan. Hey, Dusty, is that you? Mr. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Message, quick. Well, tell us. Kuflungen and kuflungen and kaput, kaput. Yeah, yeah, kaput, kaput. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the message? Yeah, and Klaus said if I didn't get it right, Betsy might get hurt real bad. Well, obviously, Klaus remained behind to guard something. Right, we found the cave where Gronk took Betsy, and Klaus, you know, said I gotta find you guys while he stayed behind and was lookout. That's what the message must have said. <laughs> yeah, about that, I can speak German. Well, let's make tracks. No, not yet. Now, without a plan, we run the risk of irritating Gronk with no purpose. Yeah, we've got to have a plan. Hey, 
Has anybody seen Annie's equipment chest? Uh, it's over there on the wagon. Yeah, I gotta get some stuff to you know, take care of Gronk. Oh, I didn't know Andy had a cannon in there. It's not a gun. It's some kind of scientific formula in a big bottle. <laughs> That's not it. If you can tell us what it is you're seeking, perhaps we can help you seek. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it has something that sounds kind of funny. A potassium cyanide. Uh, uh, fulminate of mercury. Uh, this is it. <laughs> Chloroform. <laughs> All right, now let's go over the plan one more time, Dusty. Yeah. Klaus and I will rig the net over the mouth of the cave, just out of Gronk's sight. Right. I make a noise outside so he comes outside to see it. Yeah, and then you and Klaus drop the net over him, and I'll get in there and wrestle with him until you can get the chloroform in his mouth. Yeah, but you must do it quickly. You better believe it. I can't wrestle that ape too long. Don't you worry. As soon as he steps out, I'll just give it to him right in the mouth and just kind of hold it there until he get on the face. And... Boy, it's time to be strong. And then I just hold on to it. Just give it to him. <laughs> Now listen, you start to make a ruckus as soon as I give the signal and hurry with that stuff because I can't wrestle that gorilla for very long. Right. Some boxing gloves big enough to fit long fingernails is going to be a new heavyweight champ of the world. Yeah, that Gronk sure was angry when he got back to his cave. I mean, there was steam coming out of his eyes. <laughs> I bet she's still in trouble. Nothing to do but go try again. Nein, nein. Gronk will be twice as suspicious as before. And even more deadly. I still say that chloroform is the answer. The problem is getting him to take it. Why don't we give him a ham and chloroform sandwich? It's ridiculous. The only food that Gronk loves is bananas. Are you suggesting that we give him a chloroform banana? That's it. The problem is getting him to take it. Oh, if only we were in Dusseldorf. What? What do you in Dusseldorf? Whatever. What did you say? What is that? Because there's a little chimpanzee in the zoo there who is best friends with Gronk. For some reason, Gronk is always very gentle with monkeys. You mean if we had a little gorilla, we could get him to take a loaded banana? Well, where you got to find a little gorilla in this? Well, it may not be perfect, but it's a rush job. <laughs> it's great. I can't go through life like this. But Dusty, Mrs. Brookhaven's fur coat looks just fine. <laughs> Get him to trust you, and then you give him that, huh? Don't worry, Mr. Callahan. I'll have that gorilla eating out of my arm. I mean, my hand. I mean, my... Ooh, I wish I hadn't said that. Just get him out in the open, and I'll finish him off with this buffalo gun. Nein, nein, you must not do this. Gronk is an extremely rare specimen. You must appeal to his gentleness. Then he will trust you, and he will take the banana. Okay, but well, this is the last time I let anybody make a monkey out of me. <laughs> Was a brave little guy. Very <laughs> angry this time. I think you've got him interested. Betsy, when you get out, run to me. Turn right.
I can't play anymore. Keep it up. You got a minute. Oh, help. Somebody help. Don't huh? oh, show fear. How about if I show panic? Yeah. Everything Gronk does. That's how apes show friendship. Do what he does. He's getting mad with you. Give him the banana. Give him the banana. No, thanks. I've already had enough. I, don't, I really don't want it. I mean, I just don't want it. No, you can have it. I don't want it anymore, really. Just let me know. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. How's he doing? See? Monkey do, monkey see, see? <laughs> you did it. You did it. You knocked him out. But how? You ate some banana, too. I only pretended to eat it so we would do what I did. He thought I took a bite like this. <laughs> yeah, well, little pal, I certainly am glad that Krauss and Kronk got themselves back to that circus. <laughs> I don't have to worry about wild African animals bothering us anymore. No, that couldn't happen again in a month of Sundays. <laughs> you think lions like bananas? Wagons, go! Go! 